Hello, I'm Kevin Wang, currently working on QVH project. Today I will introduce QVH, the Kubernetes native edge computing framework to you guys. So the talk basically come up with four parts. First of all, the QVH brief, then the community updates. And after that, we will go through the latest the use case and also the uh, future plan. So the QVG project was started in 2018, targeting on providing uh, the extending the Kubernetes and the cloud native technologies to the AG computing uh, cases. The project was donated in, uh, to CNCF in 2019 and uh, last September we moved it to uh, the incubation level. Now the, pro the community have around uh, 4,000 GitHub stars and one GitHub folks. Since joining CNCF, we uh, received over 60, uh, 600 contributors from all over the world and including uh, around 10, 200 uh, code submitters from uh, over 60 uh, organizations. Since we last met, the community now have four SIGs and working groups, including the AI SIG, the device IoT SIG, the MEC SIG, and the, working, uh, the wireless working group. So from the uh, list of the community contributors and of adopters, actually you can see it, there's a very good diversity over the industry. We have the, uh, the contributors and adopters from hardware, IoT uh, companies, and also the uh, there are teleco operators and uh, the IT service provided uh, providers working together in the uh, community, and also there are a lot of uh, cloud service providers uh, serving uh, uh, providing the QVH services in the uh, in their uh, products. And also we have a lot of uh, academic organizations uh, doing research around the QVH for the edge computing platforms and uh, applications. From the overall architecture, uh, QVH is actually targeting on uh, providing the functionality of, of managing both the nodes in the cloud and the nodes on the edge within the same Kubernetes API cluster. So in the cloud, we have the cloud core, which is the component to, to deal with uh, shadow management for the, for the applications and the resources on the edge. On the edge, we have the uh, all-in-one uh, component, the edge core, which provides the uh, node level uh, autonomy uh, functionality and also uh, uh, it's actually uh, optimized for the uh, low resource uh, hardware. And to better integrate with the, uh, the IoT devices and the, uh, the different protocols used in the industry, uh, Kubernetes provide the extens uh, extensibility framework, the device mapper to simplify the integration with uh, different protocols, including MQTT, Modbus, Bluetooth, OPC UA, and a lot of other uh, protocols. Users are able to use the QVH uh, CRDs to define their own uh, device protocols, the uh, device types, and also easy to uh, integrate with the protocols by Develop, developing their own uh, device members. For the data, data plan to uh, simplify the, uh, uh, the service communication between the applications located in, in, in different network in a, on the edge, uh, QH provides the uh, edge mesh uh, framework to, uh, to uh, serve the online network agnostic uh, layer for the applications to uh, discover each other and easily communicate just as 
uh, the same experience when they are uh, running in the Kubernetes cluster in the cloud. So for the key features, uh, one thing we added in the recent uh, release is that Kubeage now support the uh, native API endpoint access on the edge. So by the autono autonomic uh, Kube API endpoint on the edge, uh, the applications, the operators, or the other uh, plugins that relies on the Kubernetes API or even the CRD mechanisms are now able to uh, run very well on the edge. Even when the nodes are disconnected, the, uh, the API is still uh, uh, accessible from the node. So that means uh, your application will not be uh, disrupted. Besides that, QBH are, uh, are good at providing the seamless cloud and edge of coordination uh, mechanism by providing the by directional uh, communication uh, terminal to uh, make it able for the uh, system to manage the nodes even when the nodes are located in, in private southern subnet or the even the node uh, the network between the cloud and the edge are very limited for example there are very high latency uh, the package loss are very high and to implement the uh, node autonomy, uh, actually, QVH persists the bit of data uh, on every node. That means even uh, the node are disconnected from the cloud for a very long time, it can still uh, uh, recover or get ready very quickly since there's no uh, any uh, request needed from the, the uh, the uh, response uh, depending on the response of from the master on the cloud. And Kubeage optimized the, the uh, all in one component uh, in the cloud, which takes around only uh, 70 uh, megabytes. It also supports the OCI conformant uh, runtimes, including container D. CIO for the uh, less runtime uh, overhead uh, cases and also support like Kata container or Vetlet uh, uh, architecture for uh, the, uh, uh, the security concern uh, use cases. And to simplify the, uh, the industry, the IoT uh, device in, in integration, Kubage provides the uh, the, the device uh, API and also the, the underlying device protocol extensibility uh, framework to uh, make users able to define their own device protocol or integrate with their own uh, device types. And another thing is that uh, Cubage provides the uh, ARM uh, v7 and ARM v8 as well as uh, x86 uh, as the native uh, hardware architecture uh, in, in the overall uh, project development uh, cycle, including the code, uh, code development, shipping, building, testing, and also the releasing. So how it works. So uh, basically, uh, for example, when deploying a uh, container to the edge, uh, edge node. So what Cubage did is actually it, it hooks the, uh, the vanilla pod spinning up uh, process. So after the, uh, the scheduler made the decision, uh, the cloud core from the Cubage will got the uh, first got the uh, notification and forward the uh, pod information to the corresponding uh, nodes located on the edge. And then after edge core got the uh, updates, the meta manager will persist the the, uh, the pod information on the node and then uh, forward it to the uh, HD or Kubelet. And the rest of the steps are, are uh, just as the uh, the same as the uh, 
the kubelet running in the cloud. So what are inside the cloud core? So basically uh, the most important thing is the cloud hub. It's a, uh, a symmetric uh, component with uh, another comp uh, another one, the edge hub in the, uh, in the edge. So basically these two components are providing the, uh, the messaging over a web socket or over a uh, quick to deal with uh, uh, the bi-directional communication over the uh, different quality of network or even the uh, ensure the uh, data uh, synchronization uh, can be successfully uh, received and processed. The edge controller are uh, provide uh, is providing the shadow management for the core Kubernetes core APIs, including uh, nodes, pods, config maps, etc. On the edge, the device API and the device uh, controllers are for the uh, the IoT and edge device modeling and the integration. It also provides the uh, shadow management for the devices on the edge. The sync controller are uh, responsible for uh, inconsistency detection and the triggering the uh, reconcilement. The Kubeage CSI driver is actually a plugin to hook the storage, provisioning, et cetera, uh, requests to the edge to make it easy to integrate with the existing CS, uh, CSI drivers, CSI backends that are running uh, on the edge. The admission webhook are responsible for the, uh, the extens extended uh, API validation and provide the best practice, including um, if best practice enforcement, including the um, the auto uh, uh, automatic. Uh, Pod autonomy configuration. So, what are inside the edge core? Edge core is actually a uh, building together with uh, edge hub, the meta manager, uh, HD, and device team, and uh, event bus. So, uh, meta manager uh, are dealing with is dealing with the node level uh, metadata persistence, and also it now serves the uh, autonomic. Cube API uh, uh, endpoint on the edge to support uh, the API access request from the uh, the plugins and the operators running on the edge. The HD is an optimized uh, lightweight kubelet, uh, and device train deal with uh, device status uh, synchronization between the cloud and the edge, and also provides the direct access uh, for the uh, applications from the, uh, uh, on the edge nodes to the devices. So what are new in the community? Uh, we now have a, a special inter interest group focusing on the uh, AI workloads running, better running on the edge and also uh, uh, researching on a better pattern of the workloads running both on the edge and in, and in the cloud, including the, uh, for example, the joint uh, inferencing the uh, incremental learning or federated learning stuff. So in this sig, we will uh, first of all uh, verify the uh, integration with the mainstream AI frameworks to make sure they are able to uh, and run, uh, run uh, appropriately on different type of uh, edge devices, edge nodes, edge servers. And also we uh, will uh, keep researching on the uh, synergy mechanism for the AI uh, workloads. And also uh, we will define the benchmarking uh, stuff for the uh, relevant uh, research. So, the uh, Sedna project is actually one of the uh, toolkit uh, working on, uh, focusing on this set of work. So in the Sedna project, 
that we're trying to provide the uh, edge cloud synergy AI framework by uh, providing the data set and uh, model management across the cloud and edge. And we're also trying, uh, trying to provide the uh, edge cloud synergy training and the inference uh, frameworks to support including the joint inferencing, uh, incremental training, and the, the federated learning. So uh, in the uh, architect, uh, architecture, uh, you can find out that actually we have a uh, centralized uh, global manager in the cloud to uh, deal with uh, and coordinate with uh, uh, all the components on different edge nodes. And on each edge node, we have the local controller to uh, support the, uh, the AI uh, workload synergy pattern, including joint inference, incremental learning, and uh, federated learning. So for the uh, application developers, they actually uh, are able to use, uh, still use, able to use like the uh, TensorFlow, PyTorch, or the other uh, AI frameworks. They just uh, need to import an uh, helper library to uh, to uh, expose some of the uh, measurement data to the uh, Sedna project. And then the Sedna project, the framework will automatically automatically uh, hook the, uh, uh, for example, the inference uh, uh, function uh, to make it able to, uh, for another try when the uh, local inference on the edge fails. So the device IoT SIG is focusing on uh, uh, providing the uh, better extensive uh, extensible uh, framework to easily integrate with the uh, different device and uh, protocols. So the areas of focuses are uh, uh, including uh, the API, API obstruction and extensible uh, the device community uh, communication framework and also including the data management workflow uh, mechanism and that uh, also to simplify the mapper development. For the MEC SIG, we're actually uh, focusing on uh, uh, doing the research to design and implement uh, reference architecture that Qubage is used to uh, empower the MEC uh, uh, platforms. Uh, the, the works uh, falls into uh, this SIG are uh, including the MEC services, for example, the service discovery and the communication between the different uh, network, and also the uh, underlying uh, network functionality, better integration with the, and better exposure to the, uh, the container network or to the uh, higher level uh, layers. And also uh, we will verify and uh, do more research on the, uh, uh, MEC infrastructure layer, including uh, the virus hardware acceleration and also the multi Kubernetes cluster, multi MEC uh, management. <coughs> the wireless working group are really uh, uh, targeting on uh, uh, optimizing Kubage to better running on the uh, different wireless environment, including the low quality uh, wireless uh, network and also uh, including the cases that the each nodes are frequently changing the location and also the each nodes may randomly get offline very often and also we will think about uh, and uh, do more research to find out how to optimize the uh, the uh, quality requirement to the uh, underlying uh, network. So new use cases. First one is that uh, they're managing the, all the uh, monitor devices and the sensors, sen sensors 
on the uh, world's longest uh, the cross sea uh, bridge. So this is an, actually a uh, bridge tunnel system uh, uh, over the sea, which is around um, 30 kilometers long. And there are the network are uh, mainly a uh, wireless network with very limited bandwidth and uh, with very high latency. And also there are a lot of uh, uh, sensors and monitors that uh, provide uh, by different uh, providers and uh, uses uh, different protocols. So QBG is very uh, valuable in this case because they are able to, uh, e it's able to easily integrate with different uh, device types and the different device protocols and it uh, uh, QBage provides the uh, functionality to able to manage the containers on the edge nodes, even the even the network between cloud and edge are are very uh, limited. Another uh, use case is the uh, the by the China Mobile. Uh, they are actually are. Uh, using the cloud edge synergy, uh, synergy uh, platform to manage over 100 uh, subsidiary uh, corporation from the central uh, cloud. The uh, network environment uh, is that all the uh, subsidiary corporation uh, need the uh, net to uh, the uh, Central cloud. That means the central, all the uh, components in the central cloud, they can have floating IP, while the components on the edge are not. So Cubage is very uh, useful in these cases to provide the bi-directional terminal uh, to simplify the remote publication uh, monitoring management and the debugging from the central cloud. And also the applications located in different uh, network are easily to, uh, can easily talk to uh, each other without worrying about too much about the lonely online network environment. All right, for the uh, longer term this year, we basically want to uh, provide the data plan, uh, com uh, communication uh, functionality across different uh, networking environment for the applications located in different subnet or located in both cloud and edge. We will also verify the integration with the existing third-party uh, C9 plugins to uh, help users easy, easier to integrate with their existing software stack. And we will also implement, uh, improve the device management extensibility and simplify the uh, customi customization uh, work uh, when uh, people adopting CubeH in the, uh, especially the IoT or uh, manufacturing or in other industry uh, cases. Uh, for the platform itself, we are uh, working on to uh, support multi-active uh, HA mode for Cloud Core to support a li larger uh, scale of a single cluster. And also we are working on to develop uh, managing the uh, clusters management on the edge. For the community perspective, uh, we will uh, we are targeting. We are targeting on uh, uh, improving the uh, contributor experience and also uh, hold more contributor events to welcome uh, the new uh, developers to become contributors and the contributors to grow in the community. We are also expecting to uh, have more uh, cross community uh, collaboration with the other. Uh, 
open source project and the organizations, including the LFH, the Acrino, the uh, 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 Foundation, etc. And here are the uh, useful resources of QBH community. So we basically uh, hold uh, weekly meeting uh, alternately uh, between the Pacific friendly time and Europe friendly time. So if you have any uh, questions or any idea to discuss, please feel free to uh, uh, find us on GitHub, in Slack, or on the community meeting. Okay, that's all about the uh, talk today. Hope you enjoy the show. See you.